Hey guys, welcome back to the Fox Regalia. My name is Pat. Let's play some Final Fantasy IX. I've already walked all the way back to my dating service, so you don't have to see this. I'm home. I'm home. <laughs> oh, it's the Moogles. Moko, Moko told me the news. Are you all right? Come now. Talk later. Kupu. 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 Oh my goodness. Like ants crawling back into their um, ant nest. Oh gosh. It's the entire Eidolon wall that's been stolen, isn't it? Oh no. Oh, this is so terrible. Shovel stole the village's most precious stone. A ah, stone. Who stole it? Licky. Can't be Licky. I saw someone with a weapon. Uh oh, big axe. Oh, it's the bounty hunters. What's going on, Violet? It's, it's... The precious stone that has been passed down in this village for generations is gone. My grandparents said, they said, that we should take care of it because it's a symbol of the summoner's heritage. Well, how about crying for a change? It'll help. I'm not gonna cry. I'm a grown-up now. And crying won't help one bit. Alright, how about we start looking for clues? I'll help too. Oh no. Is it... Is it my fault? I think she's starting to cry. She started to cry. Poor Violet. Is it because I broke this, the, my promise and opened the Eva tree seal? Everyone, everyone is watching over the stone. Violet? It just happened that way. It wasn't your fault. Besides, we're the ones who made you open the seal. You understand, right? The real villain is the thief who stole it. So let's just look for some clues and just get the stone back, okay? Okay. Poor girl. I wasn't going to cry, you know. After all, I'm a grown-up. Why no, Violet? But if you feel like crying, just cry. Even grown men cry. I'm gonna go pray to my grandparents. I'll be right back. She's gonna cry. If you need to, you can cry too, Iris. My shoulder's always available. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> what about you, Pat? What do you do when you need to cry? Oh, I get real clingy when I'm sad. Cut it out. Hey, I was serious. I heard a scream. It sounded like Violet. Uh-oh. Damn it, the thief was still here. Pat, I saw her. It's the girl from Fossil Rue. She took Violet. They went to the Eidolon Wall. I knew it. It's the bounty hunters, the scum. Oh no! I need to. I, I need to pick that up. Survival vest. I think I already have that. Phoenix down. Uh, that's it. No more chests. What are the chances we're gonna get another boss battle? Very high. Very likely we'll get a boss battle. Oh, moogles. What should I do? What should I do? What should I go do? Kupu! Another hornless human should better not be in league with you. Say Violet, Kupu! Oh, gosh. Ah. Ah, heal us. Yes. Um, peek inside. Okay, just... Okay. This is no way to treat a lady. What's this wing ornament on your back? It makes you so easy to pick up. My grandpa gave it to me. Get your grubby hands off of it. Oh, so she is not like some weird species. She's actually just a little girl. <laughs> I thought she was like, you know, ha half winged creature. Okay. Oh, dear. Puja's coming, isn't he? I found a treasure, Kupo. Use it for Violet, Kupo. Exploda. Wait, isn't that a weapon? 
Where's Mog? Was Mog captured too? Nope. Mog is right here behind me. Oh, he's so small. It's like three pixels. Mog, I need your help to save Violet. Kubo. I got an idea. It's alright. You won't be in any danger. Kubo. It's no use. Mog has always been a coward. Yeah. Well, we gotta do something. Hold on a second. I do want to see if the Exploder is an actual... Just three of us? Yes, I knew it. Oh, so this is Brigandine. We need this. Okay, I think I'm ready. I mean, I didn't do much. Well, so here's my good Sir Knight. What have you done to Violet? She was too rambunctious, so I put her to sleep with a sleeping weed. Huh. Sleeping weed, huh? And she's probably sleeping well. If it's my pendant you're after, then leave the others out of it. Now can do. This is way too convenient to pass up. Hand over your pendant and I'll hand over the girl, capiche? What happened to the pendant that you always have on? I have it. Oh, you really are a good knight. Now cough it up already. First, tell me something. Was it you who stole the village stone? Queen Moran is after the royal pendant. I found another jewel just like it in this village. Wow. So this village is something closely related to... Oh, wow. I'm glad I came all this way looking for it. Now hand it over. If only Violet was conscious. Hold on. You're plotting something, aren't you? Stay right there. <sighs> you, Black Mage. Huh? Me? Bring me the pendant. Remember, do as I say if you value this brat's life. Pad? Gosh darn it. Do it, Kuro. Okay. I love how he pulled up his pants. <laughs> he pulled up his pants. Koro, you better not do anything stupid. Don't trip. Don't fall. Don't do anything stupid. <laughs> Hold it. Oi. I don't know who you are, but thanks. Isn't that... Oh, isn't this... Isn't this her, um... Her co-worker? Teammate? Yo, can you stand? Huh? What's going on? Where's that old hag? Oh, that's it. Who are you calling a hag? You! So the table's turn. Now hand over the jewel you stole. What are you trying to do, Red? I thought you are supposed to be the number one bandit. Red? You don't look red. His hair is red. I've seen him before. He's the one who... Oh. That was him. With a $10,000 bounty on his head. Or was it 100000 He's the one with wanted posters all over Treno. I'm not here to help. Um, would that be a deep voice? I feel like it's a deep voice. Big guy, you know? I'm not here to help. I just want it to be fair. What are you talking about? Leave the jewel and get out of here. What? Our partner's on his job. I don't work with hostage-taking scumbags. Now, get lost. Or would you rather fight me? Oh, he's on my team. Mark my words, I'll collect a bounty on you someday. Okay, I don't... What? Now fight me. Okay, just a second here. <laughs> What's going on? I told you, I'm not here to help. I just want to level the playing field. Ah, fair enough. Let's do it. Hi. It's okay. I was just looking for more ways to impress you. It's a one-on-one -on -one battle? Ooh. All right. I know what to do. I know what to do. I have counter attack on. So if he attacks me physically, he's going to get a beating. I should have put auto potion. 
I didn't know it was going to be a one-on-one -on -one fight. This guy looks like a pirate, a buccaneer. Ooh, and I'm tranced. It's over for you, my guy. Look at all this! I didn't even scroll down. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this before. Solution number nine? I have never even seen this. What is he doing? What is he doing? Whatever it is, it's not gonna work on me. Let's try a stellar circle. I haven't seen any of these. Um... And it's over. <laughs> I think that has to be the best timed trance I've ever seen in this game yet. That's it. I hit him with two moves. You don't mess with the best. I lost? Go on, finish me. Can you stand? Give back what you stole. Oh, he's really gonna give it back. Wow. Violet, I got it back. <laughs> I got it back. Now finish me! What? Why? You don't want to die that bad? I just spared your life. So you want to banish me then? You can go if you want. I won't follow you. Ah! Trying to trick me, eh? Trick you? I tried to kill you. Why are you letting me go? The fight's over and we're both still alive. Good enough, right? Unless you want a second beating. We got back what was stolen from us, after all. Listen, you. I lost to some spineless thief. The sly eagle doesn't kill at whim. Hey, okay. His name is Red? I like this. Keep that in a safe place. I will, thanks, Pat. Well, thankfully... We don't have to go anywhere far to get the stone. Well, you're not going to leave me out alone after what just happened, are you? Huh? I'm going. Go, Kuro. I love how Kuro pulled up his pants. That, that has to be the best. Shall we? You're pretty good. Thank you for rescuing her. <laughs> Look how cute this Moogle is. <laughs> He's so close to the camera. Thanks for saving Violet, Kapo. Uh, yes. We're gonna rest. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, the Moogle's so cute. Oh, there's writing on the wall. Violet, three years old. Mog, three years old. Same age. Mog's trying to apologize to Violet, but I guess she still can't find the right words. Mog, why, why you betray us? He didn't want to help. He was, he was feeling very weak, not himself, you know? She's been quiet the whole time. Pat, let me ask you something. My grandfather told me not to leave the village until my 16th birthday. But what, I want to go with you guys, I really do. Do you think it's okay if I leave the village? No. If I say yes, you know, there's risks, right? There's dangers out here. If I say no, we can't really keep an eye on her and they might come back. Bad guys might come to this village. I'm gonna say yes. You have to come. Especially now that, you know, we know she's a summoner. Oh my gosh. I'll agree if that's what you want. Violet, come with us. Forget what your grandpa said. It doesn't matter what I say. You've already made up your mind. Don't you have something to say to her, Kuro? Huh? <laughs> Pull up your pants, come on. Aw. 
Remember what you taught me at the Eva tree? You said I shouldn't ever lie to myself. I'll try to be more honest with my own feelings. You should too, Violet. Hmm. Aw, Kuro's so cute. I forgot my own advice, Kuro. Thanks. I'll wear the jewels and earring. It'll be okay then, right, Pat? Yeah, true. You won't lose it that way. You won't lose it that way. That's good. Violet, I think Mog's want Mog wants to talk to you. Koopo. Koopo. What? Do you think I'm mad at you? I'm furious. You went off without me again. You promised me you wouldn't. What would you do if you went off and got into trouble? Koopo. Oh well. Thank goodness we're both alright. You're always nice to Mog, aren't you, Violet? Well, yeah. We're best friends after all. We were born the same day, and we have always been together. Aw, that's cute. This is our friendship ribbon. Mog gave it to me. Mog, do you have the ribbon I gave you? Koopo. Aww. It's too big for her now, but once we're both sophisticated ladies, we'll wear them together. Koopo. Maybe then, Pat, you'll dance with me? Pat? <laughs> I didn't know Mog was a girl. <laughs> That's what he's thinking about. Oh my goodness. I wonder where Iris went. Yo, that girl is so, like, aloof. She's so relaxed. I know curiosity is there, but like, you need to, you need to be careful, man. You need to be careful out here. If she gets kidnapped in the same... I can hear a song. Iris? From down there? Iris, you there? Pat? It's okay, you keep singing. It's our song, right? I'm surprised you found this place. You got the talent to be a bandit. How about you and me team up? We call ourselves the bitch, <laughs> the betrothed. My talent's up to snuff, but that name isn't. <laughs> You're really something these days. If I am, I must have gotten it from you. Nah, it's all because you made the effort to learn. No, it's because you stuck with me. Without you, I couldn't have made it to Lindblom. Much less seeing a whole new continent. Yeah, this guy is pretty crazy, man. He carries the whole team. Everything I tried to do on my own was a total failure. I couldn't stop my mother. At times, I almost lost hope. You helped me so much. Not just you either. Yeah, Kuro and Violet helped out at the Aoife tree. Licky was real helpful when we left the continent. Freya, Thimble... And even Beatrix, who I thought was our enemy. I haven't forgotten. I want to believe everyone is alright, but sometimes I just can't. I forgot about Thimble. Oh my gosh. He's probably dead. I hope I can live up to the hopes of everyone who has helped me. You don't have to feel so responsible, Iris. But I do. Nobody wants you to feel that way. They didn't do it all for you either. Each was following his own path. His own path? Well, what about you? Why did you come with me? Hey, that's Ibsen's line. Ibsen? Who's that? Ibsen is a character from a play, but he's a real life adventurer. I think the play is based on his adventures. It kind of goes like this. Ooh, I love these little side things. <clears throat> Ibsen and his good friend Colin worked at a tavern in Treno. One day, Ibsen got a letter. The letter was so wet from rain 
that most of their writing was illegible. The only part he could read said, Come back home. Nowadays we have airships and stuff, but back then it was really hard to travel. He didn't know why he had to go back, but he got some time off, gathered his things, and set out on his journey home. He walked a thousand leagues through the mist. Sometimes he was attacked by vicious monsters, but he made it because his friend Colin was by his side. And then, after much time on the road, he had to ask Colin something. Why did you come with me? Oh. And what was Colin's answer? Only because I wanted to go with you. Are they drifting? No! We're gonna leave the other people behind? Oh, this is like... Oh, this is so cute. Like a romantic uh, gondola scene. I... Iris? Can't you... Can't you hear the song? Huh? Yeah, it's that song. How come? Who's singing it? I can't. The sunset makes the Eidolon wall looks like it's on fire. I've seen this somewhere before. What? Where? Is Violet singing? Oi. Iris, Iris, wake up! She's not from Alexandria. Wow. Where's Kuro? He's sleeping. I didn't want to wake him up. Look at all the moogles through the windows. That's cute. Keeping an eye on us. Well? I have no memory of my early childhood. Amnesia? What? I never really thought about it. Besides, nobody ever told me. I was raised in Alexandria, but only from the age of six or so. Six? So where were you till then? Until then, until I thir turned six, I must have been here in Madain Sari. How could you forget your childhood? Like, like sure, um, you could forget little things like what you ate, you know, what, where you guys went, but you need to know general, I was raised here, and then I moved here at this age. Those things, you know, big things you can't forget. Maybe she's affected by magic. Let's see, let's find out. I still can't remember everything. Some things are like, they're shrouded in fog. But I do remember one thing. About 10 years ago, an unbelievably huge hurricane hit this village. That's as far as I remember. That day, I, I was with my true mother on a little boat far from the village. There's a cove behind Violet's house, right? The boat I was on was just like the one there. It all came back to me when I heard that song on the boat. That song's from Madain Sari. That's why nobody else knows it.
This game just keeps getting better and better, man. Holy... How did you get to Alexandria? How come you got to be a princess? How come you don't have a summoner's horn? I don't know. But maybe Dr. Todd can tell me. That guy's probably dead already. About the lady who protected me from the storm as the boat lurched about in the waves. My biological mother who died on that boat. I knew it. The woman she th thought was her mother became someone else and her true mother was already dead. Iris has lost two mothers. I used to pray every day here at the Eidolon Wall. You too? You pray here too, Violet? I'm so happy I remembered. Iris, welcome home. So glad to be back. I just realized I'm not alone anymore. Yeah, you you have a sister. <laughs> I made up my mind. Pat, Iris, I'm going with you. I'll be breaking my promise to my grandpa, but I want to go. Besides, grandpa always told me to be honest with myself. But the thing is, we're not going... Sure, we're going on an adventure, but it's dangerous, man. People could die. I don't know what the future holds. But I want to finish what I came here for. Yeah, so do I. Let's all go together. Come on, Iris. Let's play together. Pray together. All right. This is crazy. I still don't know what I should do. By the time we defeat Kuja and return to Alexandria... Grandpa, I'll be back soon. Oh, you're coming with us? Hey, why the long face? Oh, nothing. My face is always like this. Mog's coming too. Mog? Okay, all the Moogles. Time to say goodbye. Lady Violet, now don't forget that you'll always have a home in Madain Sari. Don't let our memory become a burden. You must always be lighthearted and free. Thoughts of the Eidolon Wall will always lift your heart. Morrison. Oh, what now? You want some more, eh? The victor lives, the defeated die. You know the rules. Your actions yesterday were incomprehensible to me. Tell me, why didn't you kill me? That, that's a tough question. Are you really that unhappy that I let you live? <laughs> I'd rather die as a warrior than live as a beggar. And then come with me. Pat? What? What are you after? Follow me and maybe you'll understand. Besides, you're pretty good in a fight. We could use someone like you. We're hunting a man down. Hmm. His only constant is his unpredictability. Huh? You say something? Very well. I'll find out what makes you so strong. What's your name? Call me what you will. Hmm. 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 Lonnie called you Red, right? I'm a rant, but I have to change it. I have to change it just for originality of this um, 
this playthrough, okay? If you guys want to follow, you know, like their original names, I'm pretty sure there's hundreds of thousands of YouTubers who are also doing the same thing. And some of them have probably kept their names intact. But I have to change his name, unfortunately. It does sound sick. Okay, I think I have, I have a good name for him. Um, just because he was able to help us out, I'm going to name him Melchior. And if you don't know who Melchior is... Uh, Melchior is one of the three wise men, but I can't fit that name. So we're going to have to go with a shorter name, Gaspar. He's also a wise man. Unfortunately, I, I like Melchior more, more, but Gaspar is nice too. There's the three wise men. Some call me the Flaming Gaspar. Nice. Or Casper. You could call him Casper. Fine. We'll call you Gaspar. The more the merrier. Let's decide our marching order. Ooh. Okay. 100% Pat. I don't know if this guy's going to stick around for a long time. But, uh, just for now. All right. We'll do fine. Just follow me. Next up, the Aoife tree. He has uh, some sort of chivalry in him. You know, he was very chivalrous and he's like, don't, don't touch them. And he wanted a 1v1, like one versus one against me. And he gave back the, the jewel or the stone right after he lost. That's how a knight fights. You know, that's how a knight fights. What's this? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. So. Ooh. Some equipment. Take a flute. Pinwheel. Take two of that. I don't know what that's for. Hey, if the Mughals are rebuilding the city or the village, I'm giving them every single coin I got. Well, obviously, I need a little bit so that, you know, we don't just starve out here. <laughs> 